Okay, uh, last but not least, number 12. Last chance to say good <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Peter Waard, and this is uh, Jimmy Matthijsen. Uh, we're going to talk about existing buildings versus new build, the feasibility of sustainable applications, and uh, methodology research, uh, which we did with Nick Jaspers, Derek Knibbe, and Tommy Nuiten. Um, the table of contents, uh, we're first going to talk about the topic. Uh, uh, and a little bit of context, then the use methodologies will be mentioned, um, uh, followed by the explanation of them and uh, how they uh, were used in our paper, and then the comparative analysis and the conclusion to the top of the Sustainability is necessary uh, and it is trending. Uh, signs of climate change and global warming keep getting more obvious. Uh, carbon dioxide is one of the causes of uh, climate change and energy usage in buildings is one of the major sources of carbon dioxide. So uh, that's why energy efficiency is very important. Um, an example was uh, Saudi Arabia, um, where um, according to Talib and Sharples, they uh, have led uh, very few regulations in sustainable building codes. Uh, so uh, together with the hot climate, energy usage uh, for cooling is enormous. Uh, and this results in a lot of pollution. Uh, unfortunately, during our study, uh, we found out that energy efficiency is lacking in a lot of countries. Uh, so our motivation became to get a better awareness on the importance of energy performance. But we were also interested if we should start implementing old buildings uh, with sustainability or if we should uh, start demolishing and build uh, new buildings. Um, so the, the research question is what research method gives the best insight in improving energy performance in newly built buildings and renovated buildings? And our hypothesis is that uh, the literature review is probably going to be the best one um, to do the further research. <laughs> the paper's methodology uh, is a literature review. Um, uh, we examined 50 papers with five different methodologies that you can see on the PowerPoint. Uh, we used Google Scholar and Scopus to search for the papers. And a quick disclaimer, uh, we are making the methodologies clear by using uh, metaphors with M&Ms. Um, the literature review uses different papers uh, that contribute to the same topic, and these papers could have different methodologies. So the colors could stand for different methodologies, and the different M&Ms stand for the different papers, and we, they are combined in the paper uh, to make a broad uh, research. Um, the most important part of uh, the literature review is that it's consistent in every way. The different papers should contribute to the same research question, and this way the keywords for the search engine become essential, and, but also dates, uh, locations, research methodologies, and authors should be checked checked in order to make sure that the papers complement each other. Uh, the mixed methodologies, uh, they look a lot like the literature review. Multiple methodologies uh, are used to get broader research. For example, uh, the M&Ms are a survey research and the Skittles are a <laughs> literature review and they are complement each other to make a broader and better uh, research. Um, and the mixed methods and literature review may look a lot like each other, but uh, they are not quite the same. The writer of a mixed method uh, paper executes the different methodologies himself, while the literature review uh, writer uses different papers to make his own paper. Uh, but it doesn't mean that the literature review can be a part of a mixed method. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, there were two different uh, case studies. There were single side case studies and multiple side case studies. A single side case study is focused uh, on one particular area. This method is beneficial to the researcher because this way it's easier to gather data and analyze the case. However, for the fact that a single side case study is often too specifically focused on one particular situation, it, its conclusions are limited. Uh, the difference between the two variances, variations is that a multiple side case study is based on more data. So the multiple, multiple side case study conclusions are uh, from one case can be compared with the results from uh, the other cases used in the case study. So the use of a case study, uh, multiple side case study, strengthens the conclusions of the stu study. Uh, next, 
is observations. Okay. Uh, with observation, uh, the research creates an objective study to the fact that the research observes from a distance uh, and cannot be of influence. Uh, the same goes for the uh, for the customer uh, and store who observes from a distance. After the researcher's observation, he must uh, look for a way to process uh, his observations, with, which leaves uh, the, observation, uh, the researcher with a big pile of data, which also implies that observations are a qualitative research method as first, rather than a quantitative research method. Uh, the researcher must then uh, order the data in a way it can, com uh, it can be compared, which makes observations more uh, quant quantitative. Uh, the survey method can be both qualitative and quantitative directed. A qualitative directed survey provides the research with uh, no orderly results, as presented in the m, &M figures. Uh, when, on the other hand, the quantitative survey uh, provides the research with easy to order results. Uh, there are three different varieties of surveys used in the analyzed papers. We have the Likert scale and the multiple choice uh, variations. Those two are uh, those to provide the research with easy to order results, uh, which makes them a quantitative, quantitative research method. However, uh, a survey with open form questions gives the research a lot, a lot of possible answers, which makes it open form, uh, which makes it a qualitative uh, method. For our comparative analysis, uh, the analyzed survey focuses on national and city scale, reaching a large group of participants. The participants are uh, consumers and experts, although the participants have knowledge about the subject, the data remains subjective and on a large scale. And the, uh, the fact of case studies is that it can't be uh, generalized to a wider population. A literature study uh, reviews a lot of data, so it makes it more a reliable study. An observation, however, is time consuming, uh, time consuming because, uh, because it takes long time periods uh, before you get reliable data. And uh, on the other hand, uh, the mixed method uh, excludes all the disadvantages of a single method approach. As answer to our uh, research question, we conclude according to our paper that the mixed method approach is, be is the best method. Uh, yeah, thanks for listening. Sometimes it was specified, and sometimes they talked about the energy efficiency as well. Uh, 
Did they address the labels for Europe? The energy labels? Yeah, we had a couple of papers that the uh, yeah. and, and they compared different um, regions of Europe and uh, Asia and uh, America. So. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.